I like the fact Gearbox are seemingly nerfing the wedding invitation by buffing other snipers. Today we take a look at another sniper which has just been on the receiving end of a massive damage buff and well the effects are utterly crazy. Check this out people. <sighs> How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and today I'll bring you another BR3 video. If you guys do enjoy it, leaving a like it really helps me out and subscribe if you want to see more. So the Cracker Tower is a Maliwan sniper rifle which hasn't seen much loving well since the game's been released. To be honest, as a sniper I rarely even shot because of its low damage, well it's low damage prior to the buff, especially compared to other snipers in the game. And I said this a while back, snipers in this game for the most part are pretty useless. Yes, there are a certain few that stand out and which you can add to your build, but for the most part snipers in this game don't really act like the weapon type they represent. Over the past month though, Gearbox have no doubt taken this into account and brought us some amazing new snipers, including a sniper which let's be honest everyone thought would be nerfed soon, that being the wedding invitation, as well as buffing other snipers. And yes, after the latest hotfix, the wedding invitation hasn't been touched, but other snipers have been brought up to par with it. Which is actually reassuring in my opinion. I like the fact Gearbox ain't nerfing all these great weapons, but instead are bringing other weapons up to par with them. And today guys, we take a look at one of the few weapons that received that massive damage buff. Now I will state this isn't just snipers that receive buffs, many weapons did, some of which I have tested are absolute monsters so videos will come on them. But today is about the Krakatoa. So this Maliwan sniper acts like a sniper should in my opinion. Limited ammo but it makes the most of it. It's new stat card you can see on screen now, the best variant I have having 9293 damage, which doubles up when my sentinel is active. So this sniper received a crazy damage buff taking it from a damage stat of around 1 to a 4.25, giving it the greatest damage buff in recent hotfixes I believe besides the lab. An outcome guys is a sniper which is on par with the best weapons in this game without doubt. And you guys saw at the start of the video how quick this thing kills Graveward. Here's another clip of me not waiting around. I will also add, this build I am using within this video on my Zane isn't really set up to help damage wise with snipers, this could be even more powerful people with the correct build, 100%. What I will state though is, as a sniper should, it absolutely eats through ammo. Because you have so much fun with it, you forget and find yourself low almost all the time. This is where I do think the wedding invitation has the slight edge. Although both are kind of equal in terms of damage output, the wedding invitation has the ability to give you back that precious ammo upon hitting a crit shot. So if I had to take one of the two, I'd definitely take the wedding invitation, but this is still up there in terms of damage output. It's on par with it, no doubt about it. Now what I believe Gearbox have done here is add a weapon into the game which is basically almost on par with the wedding invitation due to the fact you can't find the wedding invitation anymore and I've seen many people on the world wide web complain about this fact of missing the opportunity in getting the wedding invitation. So what they're doing is they're buffing other snipers which are on par with it. So go out people and farm this thing. Now this does drop from the rampage upon Promethea within the forgotten basilica but I won't lie to you I farmed him for hours getting only a couple none being the role I wanted. Within the same time I saw many more drop at the Katagawa Ball. So this thing is a regular world drop from other places too, which in my opinion would be way more efficient than farming the Rampager. I mean his immune stages in that battle just make it super long. In my opinion probably the level 2 Freddy farm is the best way in getting this for sure guys, because that is the most efficient legendary farm in the game right now. So yes people, the Krakatoa is definitely up there with the best weapons in the game now, DPS wise, absolutely no doubt about it. Now I do seriously look forward to all the builds made surrounding this thing, I have one on the way which certainly benefits both of this, the wedding invitation, even a firestorm, which I will have a video on coming soon. 
But yeah guys, this is now, in my opinion, a must-get weapon. I mean, if you're in search of this, no matter what platform you play on, you can always join my Discord. As you may know, I do have dedicated trading sections for all platforms. Someone there will have this and someone there will trade with you. My Discord is linked within the video description, by the way, so do come join. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. This has been the review of the newly reformed Krakatoa Sniper Rifle, an absolute monster of a weapon now. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I really do. If you did leave a like, it really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Borderlands, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.